<laughs> it's a bit dark in here. Hello, Amr. Hey, Amr, how are you? Hello. Hi, Amr. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm just going to introduce to you what we are going to do during the, these two days, these coming two days. Uh, by the way, I am out, not home today. And not right now, I mean. Okay, just make yourself a listener. Okay, how long will it take this? Uh, Every two days, we will take half an hour, an hour live. And the rest is all done in Google Classroom. I have shared the link with you. Let's see I have opened joined. Google Classroom. Have you joined? Classroom. You have already joined. Yeah. Great. Yes. Uh, this is mainly done to help all understand the system. Let me be there. Amal? Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you in the, cla are you in the classroom? Um, I clicked on it. Who have you joined? Uh, let me check. Okay. I clicked. Is I'm that... in now. Yeah, Is there great. another way to join? I am in. You are in. I clicked and I, I was in. Is okay. this your email? Great. Hello, Marta. Yes. Why? Why? Uh, there is no light in your face. Yeah, I'm sorry because of the. I'll bring light, better light later on. GT try to. Okay. Okay, I see. Let's get started. So, what are we going to do, guys? First, the first thing is we need to get the introduction done. Just you will click this task and then you, you write it in the comments. You will need to introduce yourself. Okay? And then tell us about what makes a great teacher. Uh, you can discuss these issues like uh, good teachers are born or made. You can discuss these. This is an example about telecolor. Are they spontaneous or well prepared? Well prepared. <laughs> I've discussed this with you, just giving you headlines. So, what do you think? Good teachers should be knowledgeable or should have qualities, personal qualities? Qualities. I mean, I mean, um, even though there's the aspect of knowledge, but um, a teacher, because you're teaching your students to to learn, and for people to learn, they need to grow. Um, they need to understand themselves. So a teacher also needs to have those aspects of personal, you know, awareness, self-awareness. Yeah. So that, yeah. Great. Okay. Now, well. Do good teachers or gay teachers practice, I mean, have better practice of the language or better practice of freedom? I mean, um, is it okay if I speak? Or yeah. I should give some words? Okay, go, go ahead, Martin. You can say something um, and then I need to hear the rest. Language is basic. Language is basic because that's definitely how do you communicate if you don't have a language. But when it comes to freedom, I always, I, I think for me, I think freedom is like an, at an advanced level of a good teacher. How do you ensure that your students are able to express yourself? Are you also able to express yourselves in a way that your students feel free, that they can do the same in order for them to learn? Okay, should we give them all the freedom in the class? Um, you regulate. I mean, it's yes. um, 
when I'm talking about freedom, I don't mean to do to do everything. I mean it's freedom to express themselves, to learn and grow. What you want to do at the end of the day, you want to ensure that your students are learning. So the goal is to make sure that they they are learning to what you want them to learn. And so the freedom is within that space of learning, yeah. not to do not nothing else beyond that. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Martin. Uh, I have a point, Teacher Rosine. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Uh, I guess that in uh, online, online classes, it's not like live classes. You can't give them that freedom because uh, you can't, if you have, I guess, so many students in the class, like you have seven, nine, me, I, I'm teaching nine students at the mm -hmm. same time. So uh, when I try to give open the mic for them all or uh, to let them active, uh, be active in the class, I can't control the class very well, really. It is a big challenge. So, uh, so uh, what, one way to my point is, is uh, it's, it's hard, yeah, because it's online. You can't shout, you can't let them get down. Everyone is in his house. There is always a way to control it. There is always a way. Yeah, if you regulate, okay, it, continue. If you regulate it, it's going to be controlled. Okay. You can mute the mics. No, yes. Yeah, I we think, mute the mic. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, continue. And you can ask them to raise their hands if they need to speak and to take part. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's if, cool. if we can just time up our plan prior to the class begins, we can, for example, time the activity time. Uh, we can time the the pre lesson. I mean, the the introductory part, mm -hmm. and then we can time every activity. And yeah. then within that time, we should finish. And if we didn't finish, we can we should stop it. Like, and then we can continue it. Yes. Continue so that can, uh, some other time. Send the materials to the students, and you start the activity. Try it as much as possible to finish as much as you can. And then if time is up, you move ahead. This is a very good point to time the lesson. And we call this pacing, pacing. Okay, are good teachers technicians or educators? I would really appreciate it if I saw some hands up, if you. They're educators. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I raise my hand for that? Yeah, yeah. If somebody wants to speak, I would really appreciate it if you could raise your hands. Like you know, you can activate it in Zoom. Click and raise your hands. And uh, Omar, I just want to point something out. Sometimes there is a problem with when students, one student, like dominates the class. Uh, I think we would really need to control it. And uh, it ha we have come, uh, I mean, we have faced these issues where there is like an active student who wants to speak all the time. So how do you get the rest to participate? Well, the key is to ask them to raise their hands and then give everyone a fair chance to speak, to participate. But not only but, one uh, student taking control of the whole class. But this take a lot of time, teacher Wasim, because uh, when you let them, I mean, it's online. So uh, when you let someone speak, he takes a lot of time to speak. Uh, then after that, well, <laughs> the sound you, comes you gotta out. Be frank. You've got to be frank and control it in a very professional manner. If someone exceeds the limits and you tell them, okay, please give your classmates a chance to participate. And then he or she exceeds and like speaks and speaks and see and speaks and never gives the others a chance. Then you will need to talk to them privately and try to control it. If it goes on and the guy insists, then you have to raise this issue to the management and they will guide you. We usually uh, talk to the students privately and tell them about grades that it will help them in the participation grades. Okay, guys. Good teachers are technicians or educators. I would really, again, I would really appreciate it if you could raise your hands before you speak. So. Mm -hmm. 
Some okay. Is this Hicham Abel? Do you want to speak? Is... Yes. Uh, I believe Amal they are. I believe they are. Amal, wait. Yeah. We have another I... Amal. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Amal. Me or the other one? Uh, the other Amal Al Waji. I would say. Okay. Teacher Amal, I can't hear you. She says uh, she cannot talk. I she see. will write. So write it down and we will say what you write. Uh, Amal, go ahead, speak. You wanted to say something at the first I place. Think that, I think, I think that uh, they are educators in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because um, an educator is um, a combination of everything. A person who will guide students, uh, behave students, and also help them to um, achieve the the goal of their studies. So uh, an educator comes in the first place. A technician is uh, someone who would assist, but not doing the education or sorry, the educating process. That's what well, I someone said here. The one who teacher Amalwaji said it's a kind of both. We have to have we have to use both. Amro, go ahead. <clears throat> it's the same thing. I guess uh, we are educators and in the same time we are technicians as teacher Amal said because uh, we, we should mix in, uh, while we teach. Okay, I have a question. What's the difference between a technician and a, an educator? Okay. A technician is a person who deals with the, uh, the devices, I feel. Mm -hmm. We are online teachers, so we know how to handle uh, Zoom, Google Classroom, and other like Word, Excel stuff. Soft software, and sometimes we will ha we'll need to learn hardware. I mean, issues. Okay, let's move ahead. Good teachers repeat or reflect? Hands up, please. I would really appreciate it if you raised your hands. Mm -hmm. So someone said, manage technicians means, to be a technician means to manage the class. Go ahead, Amal. Um, I think that a good, a good teacher who would reflect, because this is the only way they would improve. Mm -hmm. And they want to feed themselves you, uh, the next time okay. they do Can the you class. Can give us a, a brief definition of reflection? What is self-reflection? Reflection is uh, summarizing what you have done in mm -hmm. during your uh, yeah during a, over a period of time, and and you see yourself whether you're making progress, whether you are doing well. It's like a measuring measuring yourself, so you yeah. can. At the end of the day, you make uh, you, you you make like you never you don't ruin the the day, you, the meal. Let's say, uh -huh. like if uh -huh. you just follow, yeah, if you just uh, use um, if you just like add uh, ingredients uh, without uh, without measurement, then there will be um, the the meal will be ruined and the, it won't taste yeah. good. And teaching is the same. Okay. So that will help uh, any teacher to um, to improve, uh, do better, or perform better, yeah. and then um, the outcomes will be uh, more fruitful, I believe. Thanks, Emilian. Thanks, Emilian, everyone. So, can you please give me? I would ask each one of you to give me one quality or one characteristic that helps make us great teachers. Can you point them out? Can I, Lara? Tehal, I haven't heard you. Yes, teacher. What you makes heard me know? Patience. Uh -huh. Okay, Martin. Good listener. Wow. Okay. Ibtihal? Uh, 
Yes, teacher. <clears throat> yeah, mm, deep knowledge. Yes, deep knowledge. Okay. Knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Martin. Go ahead, Martin. He said a good listener. Ah, a good listener, yeah. So I need to read to lower hand. Uh, teacher Amal, Amal Waji. Caring. Caring. More like, and I would say this, like seeing students, this is mine. Bras and sisters. I mean, caring about them this way. Yes, Amro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, friendly attitude. I, I would say uh, hard work is the key, by the way. Because <laughs> uh, none of these patience, knowledge, or uh, would be benefit uh, uh, for students or for us to be a teachers unless we work hard on these. Because yeah, if I have a lot of knowledge, I have to d dig deep in this knowledge that I have to give my students the hack, the best thing for them. Yeah, understand. Thank you. thank you. Okay. Teacher Amr, if the environment of the class isn't good and comfortable, hardworking, or whatever I do in the class will not, the student will not get it as if the environment is good. So hardworking, it will case, not be the I, best thing. Uh, excuse me, I said hard work in general, not only in for, uh, for in that uh, case, I, I mean, uh, I, I, I guess the, a minute, a minute. Mm -hmm. I mean hard work. You should work hard in the environment and uh, becoming a good listener for the students, becoming caring. Hard work in general. That's my point. Is uh, mm -hmm. When I don't work hard, because look, I, for example, if when you start teaching without any preparation or without anything, mm -hmm. you face a lot of difficulties. But if I had a plan, a lesson plan, if I had prepared uh good materials uh, good videos for the class games uh the students will understand me very easily and uh, okay. without any effort i have a question guys some students tend to have a teacher who is fun and friendly uh, a lot of yes. students i would say yes a lot many of them this is what matters uh, so you can say half of the students nominated these Okay, well, we have also these, uh, please take a look at these and uh, you can discuss them in the in Google Classroom. This is what students wrote to us, okay? So we have this. But, but uh, friendly and a person should be professional, not making a student as a friend that will ruin the teacher-student yep. relationship. I, uh, it should be, it should be it like, should be, it should be done not just too friendly, Friendly, fair, and firm. I would add them all together. So these are, this is what students. I mean, I mean yes? Can I say something? Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, um, even, even in, um, in professional relationships, you can still have friends. It's just um, putting those boundaries between um this is yes i'm your friend but this is what you can do i'm not being friends being friendly does not mean that students don't respect you they don't turn in their assignments and things like that being friendly means you're approachable and they can when they have a challenge they can talk to you and um they they are free to to express any challenge they have something like that yeah, and yeah, comfortable sure. with you. I, uh, you. You reminded me of something, Martin, uh, about my brother-in-law. He went to Japan, and he said that sometimes they would go on a trip with, the, with their teacher, and that would help them build stronger relationship. But uh, sometimes it doesn't go with our culture in here and in some other cultures. But uh, does that help strong build I mean, better environment in the class? I don't know. I will leave that question to you. I mean, I mean smiling, uh, being nice, listening, but not just uh, 
go deeper than that like to yeah. be to talk about open up about personal yes. stuff like that's not good yes i all. agree we should always maintain limits I, okay um i don't know for me like i would say um this is the thing um okay this is for me this is what we're talking about innovation in education i believe um because it's not like you you're a, you're a you're a boundary in yourself because a teacher is wholesome is a person it's not like a teacher in class and outside you're not a teacher because it because it's holistic learning so for example i've gone to lunch with one of my teachers like some of my teachers we go to lunch we discuss politics we discuss other things but that does not mean that when i'm in class when she tells me or when i'm supposed to submit something i'm not doing it it yes. just means that they they start understanding as um, you understand this is what i can do this is what i can do based on the relationship which is communicated uh, rules and regulations are never like these are fixed i mean mm. getting yes. assignments yes. as you said getting assignments yeah um, it doesn't, this has nothing yeah. to do with our relationship with students yeah exactly because those those are those are yeah. expectations that students should meet it doesn't mean it mean that if my teacher shares about an experience she had when she was nursery or she shares her personal experience or when she's vulnerable actually being vulnerable with your students is encouraged because you're a wholesome being and you want the students to also understand that this is how the world is and it's important um so that's i, I think that's from my experience I've read a book um called Teaching to Transgress by Bell Hooks and it kind of shares more on this um right. she's a, she's a revolutionary when it comes to education. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'll show you what students said because I need to move to the other tasks that we need to get done. Here is the uh here is what students I mean this is how they put it together. These are our ideas. these are what students nominated okay and they come to the first slide yeah you can screenshot sure. and i'm going to share the uh, this uh, with you guys so i my final point about this is this can you can you just take a look at this guy Yeah. So your comment on this? Have you seen this movie? No. What's the Do you know what this movie is? Movie? What is what is the name? What's the name of it? The speech, I think. The, uh, the king was stutter, stuttering I, and he couldn't speak. I saw the end of the movie. I saw the end of the uh, movie. Oh no, no, you got to watch the whole thing because it it talks about process and education and stuff. I said I said that at the end when they gave him a round of applause after he finished his speech. Mm-hmm. Thank thanks Emily and everyone. You will have a chance to discuss these in details in the introduction. Mm-hmm. So day 1 mm-hmm. and 2. The deadline is going to be Monday before we uh, Sunday, sorry. Before we meet, feel free to add the comments here about what you think introduce yourself. Tell us about what makes a great teacher and so on. Then we'll move to the uh, I mean who has who is uh, familiar with creating blogs and so on? Uh we've done it in the class with you. Yes. That's it. Uh you have done it. Amro, are you familiar with Blogger? Blogger, yeah. I I am. We've done Chiamat. it with you. Yeah, teacher. But uh, I'm I'm not but I'm not using it a lot. Well, in this uh, training you will be doing it every two days. You will be writing something. Oh my god. There. every two days it is a tough thing <laughs> every teacher so uh so you're asking us to be like um, writing about our reflection within two days well it is going to be the last task we do after we finish all the tasks it's not a task actually it is a project it should so be every, week, every week every two days yep just write what you have mm-hmm. learned what you have done what you have studied Another thing we're going to do so I'm going to move to the other thing about bio and assessment 
So let me view the assignment. So you, you will need to click, click this link, uh, fill in all the, I mean, fill out the form. And here, you don't have to in, indicate what your name is or so on. Here you will write about, uh, I mean, it will help us see through the training and review and see what you really need, what we really need to add to the training and so on. Okay. Uh, ground rules and discussion. This is a fun part. I mean, this is a lot of fun, inshallah. So, yeah, where are the tasks? So we have, we have a number of materials here. So every student will get this material. The material will be the rubrics compared. This is how we grade you based on the discussion. You will need to read this fast. And uh, here you click, you click this link. You so will... you, you're following all the same rubric, the same rubric. For the discussion, the... yes. But uh, here, teacher. Yeah, wait, can, 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 I, you, can I say do you something? Have, uh... Can I say something? Wait, can you wait, please? So this is uh, our grading system at Just Opal Academy. Uh, this, I mean, here you have a chance to discuss, to add, to, uh, if you feel that we need to add something to change something, this is our rule of grading system. And we usually do this with all our classes. And now it is your chance to, if you feel that we need to add something or change something or delete something or whatsoever, feel free to discuss these in the details. And if you click here, you will see our ground rules and regulations, just to full academy ground rules. They are written in both languages. Arabic and English, go through them and let us know what you think, what needs to be added, what you suggest, what you want to change, whatsoever, okay? And uh, the grading system here will be you need to make two posts, uh, I mean, uh, two paragraphs actually, they are mentioned here, and then you need to make two replies to your, to your uh, peers. Yes, do you have any questions, guys? Go ahead. Raise your hands if you have any questions. Yes, uh, look, uh, I just need to uh, ask you if you, want, if you have a, mm -hmm. a book for games. Yeah, we for have. For online classes, especially yeah. for us. No, but uh, for, I mean, uh, access levels. Uh, Children, access levels. Access levels, if they are big, I mean, if they are, uh, their age is uh, old enough, you can deal with them. But uh, sometimes I teach six years old students, nine, 10, 12 year, years okay. old students. So uh, I need to give them games, but I couldn't find really, especially for you, online classes. I will classes. send you privately. Uh, my favorite one is this one. Okay. Just to let you know. To uh, it's called uh, uh, Play Games with English 1. We have uh, three parts. Number one is the best. I'm going to send it to you in WhatsApp or, or through WhatsApp. So, guys, do you have any question related to these? Uh, the grading system, you mean for students or for us, the uh, teachers who are being trained? Uh, for students. For our students. For the students. Uh, and I would like to... Uh, you, can are you can I ask uh, here... Are you familiar two, with the build, Bills Curve, guys? Do you know about the Bills Curve? Can you write that on the screen? Okay, this is the... Can you spell that out, please? Yeah, just a sec. Bills Curve. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll seems just... like Bills, that's a person who made it. Okay, this is uh, the way it is done, I would say. And uh, what we usually do is to, we avoid giving students the full mark because it usually backfires in the other classes when they go to a higher level, okay? And uh, so the highest score a student can get is 97, 96, something like that. This is in our classes, our regular classes. Well, we had these two teachers. Now we have the database where 
but we if we add students some students two students three students sometimes we add some students to the class we would really appreciate it if you made sure that the students get the spelling i mean to double check and double tap that the spelling is written as it is supposed to be and as it is like as they usually use it in other certificates and so on uh, so the name will be here should be broader i understand and i have already given you the same thing so you will need to write your name your email and so on and in regards to the bills curve again uh, we have again do not give them more than 95 96 and usually the majority of students are among these grades which are here from uh, nine from 85 to 93 and then if we see students that are that have been ignoring not doing tasks and uh, of course when they don't do tasks they don't do assignments and projects on time they lag behind so you can discuss it with the management we usually remind the management and then we contact their families and see what's uh, we arrange with the teacher the father or the parents and with the students themselves and the management to see do, do you fail students are not following well or not doing well at all or it's not like there's no failing we, we what we have done we have given them a lower level and then after they mm -hmm. we see them i mean because they, they we pass them or we push them then we put we do the re-leveling and put them to a lower level then if they do well then they can go ahead. Uh, failing students is the last resort. If they have been absent more than like 20% of the class, then it is an incomplete. 25% without doing tasks, without getting assignments done, it would be incomplete. They would give this in the results here, incomplete. It's, it, it's written here that uh, 2.5 for the attendance, what do you mean? By yeah, here this is perfect attendance. If they are never absent, we give them extra. So how do you do it? How do you do math? How do you do math for this 2.5? You add just 2.5. If they have oh, okay. attendance like, oh. without being absent a single day, so they get, they get, and the results, I would really appreciate it if you, if this is what we have, the past, uh, all of them passed. There is no like very good, good. No, we don't have that. We consider, we treat all students equally. Okay. Unsatisfactory. We have incomplete. We also have drop, uh, drop down, dropped out, sorry. Dropped out. Dropped out means he stopped the course or she stopped the course for some unknown reason or known reasons. Uh, the students, if they want to, uh, they still have a chance to cancel a class in the first three days or the first two days and before the course starts and then they get their cash back with some, deduct with little deduction. If, they, if we have started the course, but if we haven't started the course, they, we don't deduct anything, okay? Uh, any questions in regards to these guys? Yes, I have something to say. In regards to the comments, uh, yeah. I would really appreciate it that you double check the spelling before you send it to us. And uh, one important thing is that we mention what they are good at. And then we state how they can help or how we can, how they can help improve themselves. Again, we try to refrain from being negative or the student saying that the student is weak or that the student didn't do well. We, we would be hurt. I would be hurt if somebody told me this. So we need to do it in a professional manner, in a supportive way and so on. I mean, I, I hope you understand what I mean. So I would say, uh, Muhammad Hazdana. 
in terms of listening skills and spoken English. But it is really, it is important that he, uh, that he, yeah, uh, read short stories more often. Try, provide them with a way with which they can help themselves. Do not just tell them, okay, you're weak and, or you didn't do well in reading. No, we need to guide them, okay, in a professional manner. And at the end, try to give them an encouraging comment, way to go, keep it, keep it up. That's the spirit, something like that. Okay. This, these are the comments we add where? Here. I wasn't here. In this, in this part, in this place, these places. Here you get the total after you put the total together. Let me see if, if this worked. No, it didn't work. Uh, we said we send you this in an Excel sheet with the names with everything. Oh, teacher Bilgis has left a lot. Okay, do you have any questions, so, guys? Uh, I think yeah. we still have four minutes. Uh, just one more question. These comments should uh, start with the positive ones, and then if we have any comment, any negative comment that comes after that. All right. Yep. Exactly. All right. There you go. And. Uh, in the middle of the term, we send this to the management and then uh, we get the certificates ready and so on. So now let's talk about Blogger just quickly. Who's not familiar with the creating Blogger? I need to see hands up. I think all of you are familiar with Blogger and how to create Blogger and how to write in Blogger. So what does it mean to write a blog? Hey, teacher Bilgis, how are you? Any ideas? How do we write a blog? Well, that depends on the purpose of it. So that that depends on the pur on the purpose of it. Okay. What? Well, what do we usually? put in our reflection when we write reflection and how can we get this done with our students so we're asking students also to have their own bloggers uh, see after level like level two level three I think we need to do this in level two level three we we should start getting this done four so just five ask them to write three two three four five six seven these levels, I think, they do need blogger. What is the last seven in your academy? The, sorry, the last level, I'm sorry. Uh, level six. Yeah. Level six? Six, all right. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm going to send you some videos to explain how to get blogger done. I don't want to be, I, I mean, I don't want to make this boring. So we will, we're going to end this meeting in a minute. Uh, Can if you, you just have send, any, uh, YouTube links and we will just check that out. Yeah, sure. Let me know if you have any questions. Some, some of you sent me, uh, can you put the slides in Google Classroom? Yeah, sure, sure, Martin, I'm gonna add them now. Thanks a million, everyone. Uh, so we will Thank meet you. every other two days, like every two day, every other day. So, yeah, I like uh, it. Friday, Sunday, Tuesday. These are the days we will meet. Uh, Just for 40 minutes, uh, 45 minutes, uh, I mean, on each. Just to discuss how to do these and so on. I look forward and to I seeing feel, you making this and a I feel, great And active. I feel if doing this, and I feel like, I'm sorry if I interrupted you, mm -hmm. and I feel like doing that on the, on the long run, even not as uh, teachers who started the career, uh, I mean, like doing that even when we are teachers, while we are teaching will be good reflecting. Just yeah. discuss every now and then. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's, it will help you, and it can. It can. You know, people can make. A, I mean, 
can write their own books and bloggers. And uh, it, it has a lot of benefits. We have discussed some in, uh, with other I mean, teachers, but I think some of the teachers are not aware of these. And uh, I hope you have made, I mean, you have gotten the whole thing of the, what to do in the Google Classroom. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, contact me privately. I will send you whatever you need. Thanks, Emily and everyone. Thanks for attending. Thank you. Bye. Bye.